Light Matter is a startup building computing products that use light in place of electricity, and it's raised additional financing amid the AI boom, pushing its valuation to a cool $1.2 billion. I'm pleased to say joining us now, Light Matter CEO Nick Harris. And the reason you are so in demand at the moment, or in this particular moment of generative AI, is that it's really costly, really energy inefficient to basically train a big AI large language model. You're thinking your work for years, seminal work, has been done on basically using the light as a science, as a technology, to be able to make it more efficient. Can you just strip down as how that happens? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, today, when you look at AI models like ChatGPT and the stuff that Google's doing with BARD and Project Gemini, these systems are built on 10,000 node, 60,000 node supercomputers. And the chips that comprise these massive supercomputers building the AI models are burning an enormous amount of energy. So what we're doing at Light Matter is we're actually figuring out how to scale to 100,000 nodes, how to drive the energy down. I mean, just to give you a reference today, computer chips have about the same energy density as a nuclear reactor. Mm. And between the time when I founded the company and today, uh, they've actually increased by about 5x the amount of power per package. It's a tough trajectory, and if we want to keep growing in the AI uh, space and getting bigger and better models, some fundamental new technologies are needed, and that's what we're doing at Light Matter. And you're therefore growing. What is it? Your headcount is up more than 50% since your last VC round, which was back in May 2023. How do you, is it about people? Is it about talent? And that's why you need the money? Or how else do you develop this technology? Right, so for this round, uh, I think for the first time uh, at Light Matter, we've had investors approach us. And the question was really, how fast could you go if you had effectively, you know, approximately unlimited funding? What, what would you do? And we looked at the headcount requirements, we looked at uh, our product pipeline, and we decided to take on the money to accelerate all of that. We're 150 people today, we'll be at around uh, 220 uh, by the end of 2024. And what we're doing is we're taking this money to accelerate our interconnect product passage, accelerate the development of that, get it into uh, data centers at the end of next year. And we're incredibly excited to, to get this whole thing kicked off. And you're gonna start to see that, you know, these supercomputers are based on photonics and using light to connect everything up. And it's gonna be critical for the future. So this funding is enabling all of that and massive scale deployment of passage. Okay, so people needed on the R&D side, on the sales side, I'm sure, and you're getting it into the data centers. What's your own business model? How do you charge, ultimately, the customers that you're looking to? I'm thinking of the hyperscalers. Yeah, on the passage product side, we sell wafers. So uh, we have a semiconductor fab partner. Uh, those wafers ship from them. And we ultimately sell to the big semiconductor companies, companies like AMD, Intel, NVIDIA, and also the cloud service providers who are building their own silicon. You've got Google Cloud with the TPU, Amazon, AWS with Trainium, and so on. These are the kinds of companies that we partner with, and we sell those wafers to them. What they do is they take their GPUs and their different processor chips, and they scale them out on top of Passage. Passage is this chessboard that links all of the chips optically and allows you to scale up to an entire 300 millimeter uh, diameter wafer and build absolutely massive computing clusters. Um, so you can take arrays of these passages, these chessboards, and scale them out to up to 300,000 nodes is the kind of thing that we're working on today. Same heat density as a nuclear reactor. Absolutely fascinating. Nick Harris, thanks for painting the picture, telling us where your technology is going over at Light Matter. Great to have some time with you. Meanwhile, that does it for this edition of Bloomberg Technology. You do not want to forget about our own podcast. You can get sped up on the terminal. You're also consuming it on Apple, on Spotify, on iHeart, wherever you get your content. Come repeat it with us. This is